Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this channel we're going to look at many of the weekly challenges that we got starting on Tuesday, April the 9th. It goes to Monday, April the 15th, possibly into the 16th, depending on where you live, 2024. Now, of course, one of our weekly challenges this week is we have to complete the Mothman Equinox event three times. We did the first one earlier during the daily weekly challenge, and we're here again. And we're going to hopefully complete the second one here. I'm just kind of loaded in here and a little late to the party. But uh, as we all know, it's been uh, going very, very fast lately. There's still a lot of participants, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead. I'm going to flip a park card around. I think I uh, got to do that earlier. Invite him to us to show him our love and our gratitude. Dance, sing. Oh, <laughs> nice to have Of course, we are. You have accepted our invitation. Now, again, don't forget to, when you're done doing this, is you go up and touch the Mothman. There we go, just like that. You feel enlightened in the presence of the wise Mothman. And then when you open up your Pip Boy and do your stats, and you go under effects, you'll see up there, see the top says, True Wisdom of the Mothman. 59 minutes, bonus XP for plus 15%. So, again, it was my subscriber, Kip, who had mentioned that to me. And I thought, you know what, we might as well mention it in the video just in case someone is new to the channel or is unaware of that. I don't anticipate we got a whole lot from that because we just kind of slid into it at the, at the back end. It doesn't look like we did. So we're, we're a little late to the party, but I'm fine with that anyway. Let's drop some of the stuff here. We don't need it. Uh, I do want to check that weekly to see uh, if it did. Oh, it did. Perfect. So it did count. As we see there, now two for three. All right, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead here. We're going to head to somewhere as we can sell off this uh, legendary item. Let's go to Graft Station here. All right. Any old trade station is fine to uh, script your stuff or down to Rusty Pick or White Spring Refuge, wherever you like. I'm surprised we even got this. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's see what's next here. Let's um, let's head to our. Uh, okay, I can't go to our camp because it's being uh, that area is being occupied. Uh, which camp are we gonna head to here? Let's go to this one here. Let's go to square one. It'll activate that bad boy. A little fast travel down there. Alright, good stuff. Now that we're at our camp, uh, what we're going to do is what I've been doing uh, this past week uh, during the Mothman Equinox event, including the event into the uh, the daily weekly uh, videos. And uh, what I like to do for daily weekly challenge videos, I like to kind of be on a private server. That's what we're going to do here. It's just when I'm looking for certain mobs and when I'm looking for certain things, I want to be able to find them at my fingertip. Instead of having to compete against everyone else in the server, so that's why I do the old private server thing for these videos. Oh, 
hopefully we can go through these fairly quickly. Seems like those 30 seconds seems like forever. That's why I timestamp everything in the video in the video. <laughs> sure not everyone wants to uh watch that. Alright. Here at our other camp, we're on a private server. Uh let's take a look at these weekly challenges that we have here. All right, good stuff. There is some stuff we can do right here at our camp, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll take care of this one here. Collect purified water, 25. So you would have saw that I got some purified water from, uh, from completing the Mothman Equinox event. And you would have saw that kind of pop up there. Uh, of course, we're being attacked. Let's take care of whoever's attacking us here first. Unless this guy took care of them. You take care of them there, bud? Oh, no, because of super mutants there. Let's take care of these guys. He die. Right, right here for you, bud. <laughs> all right. This place gets attacked all the time. All right, so let's again collect purified water. 25, so... Hear me talk about these vintage water coolers all the time. And uh, if you can get your hands on a vintage water cooler plan, highly recommend it. If you see it for sale on someone's uh, vendor, buy it. It will passively collect two purified water while you play the game. They're small, they're compact, they're quiet, and they're awesome. Okay, now let's go ahead here. We're going to finish this off. Now, you can collect purified water all around the wasteland in different spots, but is not a good enough uh, location because it's totally random and it only totally depends on the server that you're on looking for purified water okay uh it's not really consistent enough but these vintage water coolers are pretty awesome to beat but to be honest with you before i had the vintage water cooler let's go to our build menu here let's go under water this guy right here this uh water purifier is small um you learn this very early on in the game. I think I learned this at like level 10 or 15 or something like that. It does cost a lot of resources. It does require 8 power, but I had this for a very long time, and it will also collect 2 purified water while you play the game. Uh, but this is all you have. This is all you have, but it will do the exact same thing. Just build a couple of these in your camps and just collect the water out of them. Okay, so FYI on that. I had that for a very long time until I got my hands on that uh, vintage water cooler plant. Okay, what's next here? What is next? Go ahead, craft ammo on a workbench, 250. So once in a while we'll get a daily or weekly challenge where we have to collect ammo. But this one here, we actually have to craft ammo at a workbench. And of course that workbench is the Tinker's workbench. And the fastest Everyone cat here is using it. Of wow, wow. Even super thanks, buddy. Well, thanks for, thanks for doing me dirty there let's go inside here we're going to uh go down here to crafting wow right there jim tinker's workbench <laughs> i'm gonna craft our own <laughs> gonna craft <laughs> all right so one thing it says about the week the challenge is any ammo so ballistic ammo okay or energy ammo both will work uh fine okay um, so if, what we're going to do is we're actually going to craft uh, 45 rounds. So as we can see there for 12, 45 rounds. And the same thing will work for energy ammo. If you note the requirements, 3 gunpowder, 4 lead, 10 steel. Okay. Now let's back out. We're going to be crafting some ammo here today. So that's uh, a couple of perk cards going to help us out. There's one under agility. This is called Ammo Smith. It's a level 2. Uh, produce 80% more rounds for crafting ammunition. So this will allow us to craft more rounds, but the same amount of requirements. Okay, let's put him on. Uh, now, another thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go under luck here. And we're going to put super duper on. 
And this one here has happened to be a three star. When you craft anything, there's a 30% chance you'll get double results. Let's go ahead and put that bad boy on as well. But let's go ahead and see what happens here when we go craft Tinker's Workbench. Ammo. And the same thing for the energy ammo will work the exact same way. So instead of 12 rounds, we get 21 rounds of 45. But if you know, it's the same amount of requirements. 3 gunpowder, 4 lead, 10 steel, and that's the ammo smith park card. Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to craft. We've got to craft quite a bit of them. Let's craft 5 and see if the super duper kicks in for us. Nothing. Super duper didn't kick in. Let's go ahead. We're going to craft another 5. All right, so we hear super duper kick in that time. There we go. Craft uh, ammo on a workbench 250 for 250. Again, it has to be at the Tinker's workbench. And those are a couple of perk cards you can use to uh, help you out there. Because we actually have to craft it. Just don't forget to put perk cards back to, where, to what you had on there before. Just like that. We have a lot of ammo on us there now, so we're actually going to put some of this ammo away here. Right, let's put uh, 700 away. We're going to knock away that many. There we go. There we go. Stop. Oh, you having to be done too, are you? Nice job, bud. Nice job there, cat. Finally. <laughs> nice wow. Day. Yeah, finally, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here, Jim. Let's see what else we got here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and we will uh, plant a crop in a workshop or camp 25. So we can go ahead and claim any old workshop on the map. Any old workshop will do, okay? Or we can just cr plant a crop in our camp. Now, you can harvest crops like corn and razor grain, and I highly recommend corn and razor grain because we can use corn and razor grain to craft beer. And uh, we can include corn and razor grain in many, many of the daily week huh. challenges that we have. And I highly recommend that anyway. So a uh, real good spot for corn and razor grain is, of course, right over here in the forest. Uh, we have corn, Silva Homestead. We have razor grain down here at Billings Homestead. So let's go to Silva Homestead and we'll hop over here. Right now, if you are a herbivore, uh, there's a perk card that you must have, or should have. Thunder Perception is called Green Thumb, where you twice as much when harvesting flora. So instead of one corn, it's two corn. Instead of one razor grain, two razor grain, and such. Okay, and that goes with any kind of uh, uh, flora. Now, uh, herbivore, definitely a must have. Okay, uh, even if you're a carnivore like myself, it's good to have, even if you don't have it equipped in your back pocket. Of these daily week challenges is just going to help you out. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab a bunch of corn here. And we're going to plant this stuff in our camp. Uh, now that particular camp is uh, pretty close to the budget. We're going to have to plant a couple and scrap a couple. So we don't have a whole lot of room available. I'm surprised after the update that camp's still standing. <laughs> to be honest with you. You might have to uh, tear down that uh, Tinker's workbench we just crafted. <laughs> or put it in our, in our camp here. Alright, let's see how many we got there. Go down here to food and drink, corn. Oh, 64 corns. So that's more than enough. Alright, let's go ahead. Head back to our camp here. We can find which one it is. All right, good stuff back here at our camp. Again, you can claim a workshop and do the same thing, but I highly recommend do it at your camp because it's just valuable to you so you don't have to do what I just did. I'm going to do it anyway, just in case there's new people to the video, new people to the channel. I'll show you where this stuff is at, but literally, if you do it right, you don't even have to leave your camp. So let's go ahead. We're going to go to our build menu. We're going to plant these uh, crops. Let's go to food right here. A lot of times it just takes whatever uh, food you picked up and uh, some fertilizer a lot of people will have that uh, a lot of fertilizer on them probably more than what they think but as you can see my camp budget is like just hanging on by a thread there and uh i'm probably oh yeah 
Let's go ahead. We're going to take care of some stuff here. A bit of housekeeping at the same time. Let's go back to building. And uh, again, you can decide to keep the stuff in your camp. Uh, it is quite a bit, but uh, I just happen to be close to my budget. So just kind of keep an eye on what you're doing there. And you might have to do what I just did. It could be done fairly quickly. And you're just going to get the corn back anyway. Sometimes, depending on where your camp is at, sometimes the planting crops can be a little finicky, so just an FYI there. If you're having a hard time planting crops, fine razor grain of, the of all the crops, a fine razor grain can be the hardest to put down, for myself anyway. Back to planting here. As we're getting almost close here. There we go. Plant a crop in a workshop or camp 2020. 25 for 25. Showed you where to get them. Look at that. Rank 47 already. Two weeks in. Rank 47. Just doing daily weekly challenges. Nothing special. Okay. Let's back out of here now. Let's uh, take a look here and see what's next, Jim. Let's see what's next. Okay. Let's go ahead and collect brain fungus 25. So. Brain fungus we can find in cavern, cave kind of areas. Uh, rusty pick. It's a good little source of uh, brain fungus down there. I don't think they'll, you'll find um, 25 of them down there. Uh, but one of the best spots, one of the best spots is uh, right over here at the abandoned waste dump. So let's pop over here today. Uh, a lot of the streams in around the mire will have brain fungus growing in the stream, so FYI there. Right, so the abandoned waste dump. So I know this is a higher level area, uh, but it's really a really good spot for brain fungus. You can make your way over here. And if not, then Rusty Pick uh, will have some brain fungus, I think. Um, right here. Uh, Greg's mine supply might have some brain fungus there as well. You know, that little cavern that connects the buildings underground. Hey, you might find some brain fungus there as well. Let's go inside here, the abandoned waste dump. Now, brain fungus is again flora, okay? And uh, the perk card that I just talked about there under perception. Green thumb. Be twice as much when harvesting flora. Definitely, this is again, this perk card is very valuable to do in daily weekly challenges, okay? There's gonna be two, at least two death claws in here, so we're gonna have to uh, kill them at the same time. So there we go, so I'll see two brain fungus added. And hopefully we'll be able to get them all here. Hopefully. Now, let's take care of the two death claws that are here. I'm gonna sneak up here, and uh, we'll just get them out of the way, and then we will uh, take care of the uh, brain fungus weekly challenge. Oh, there's our friend there. Have a nice life. <laughs> Let's get some brain fungus here. Always give it a couple checks there, just in case if there's a couple patches in that one little patch, right? Oh, that's glowing fungus there, Jim. Check all around, and this is a really good spot for brain fungus and glowing fungus. Really good spot. If you can get to the area, that's probably going to be the hardest part for some people. All right, let's take care of uh, the other death claw that's in here. So we have seen three death claws here in the past, but very rare. Very rare. There's at least two every time. Here's a third guy here. He's got a huge headache going on right now because I'm shooting him in the face. Alright, just like that. Very powerful weapon, this uh, lever action I got here. Right, let's just go around and pick up some more brain fungus. So as you can see, it's really adding up here with that card. It's really helping us out.
Sorry, pick them up, Jim. Yeah, Rosario over here, Jim. Come on, man. <laughs> Everything looks the same down here, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. So you see how this patch here, see it's a very big patch, so there's actually two patches here in one. Alright. Keep going here. Pretty close. There we go. Collect brain fungus 25 for 25, and there's still a lot more you can grab. Okay? You can make your brain fungus soup all you want. Good time. Good time. Alright. Let's uh, pick up our stuff here from this. Uh... Yeah, we'll pick up the death claw meat there because we're going to need it. There we go. Uh, let's see what's next here. Weekly's chip. All right, let's go ahead. Eat a meat-based meal 25. So we did pick up some meat here. Okay. Now, even if you're a, um, even if you're a herbivore, you can still complete these daily weekly challenges. Okay. You can eat it. It's not going to give you any benefits. It's just a daily challenge. You're still going to get credit for it. Okay. And it will count. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some meat here. One of the best easy spots for our meat is right here in good old Flatwoods. Let's pop over here. Actually, we'll go right into Flatwoods. This is the easiest spot for, for meat. You can go get kill some insects. Same kind of deal. You can get some meat off them. Mutant hounds. Same kind of deal. We got some Brahmin here. I'm just going to shoot the Brahmin in the face here. going on with this guy here. Alright, let's pick up some meat here. Stuff. Getting up there, the Green Country Lodge. There's a bunch of uh, mall rats up there. There's some mongrels just a little further up in that field. Sometimes there's some rabbits or some foxes or rats stag around. You can go ahead and do that. Right, good stuff. So we got some Brahmin meat there. Good stuff. So let's head back to our camp. All right, we're back here at our camp. I think we have a uh, yeah, one of these guys here. Uh, we got this uh, rat steak field dressing station, which is the camp resource, uh, quite a while ago. Let's grab that rat steak meat off that. Alright, so let's cook this stuff up here. Let's cook this stuff. So, so in case you guys didn't know, when you pick up meat, when you pick up uh, vegetation, you'll automatically learn a simple recipe, okay? And uh, these recipes you don't have to buy, you don't have to find the way, so you automatically learn them just by picking up the meat and by picking up the vegetation. Okay, uh, let's go to our cooking stove here. We're going to cook this stuff up because it's got to be cooked. Okay? It's got to be a cooked meal. That's the main thing. Just don't eat the meat. It's got to be a cooked meal made of meat, <laughs> right? Not, not, not a vegetarian, not a cooked vegetarian meal. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to cook these death claw steaks again. Simple recipe. We learn by picking up death claw meat. Go down here. We got some grilled rad steak. We learn uh, automatically by picking up rad steak meat. And this one down here, ribeye steak, same kind of deal. Simple recipe you learn by simply picking up ramen meat. One game. There we go. And it's back out of there. Okay, and there's another camp resource I just kind of want to highlight for you guys. I haven't seen it since, uh, but it is fairly new to the game. It's this Myler steamer here. Uh, we got this not that long ago, maybe a couple months. And I made a video on it there, and uh, a lot of people didn't like it because, you know, a lot of people are herbivores. But uh, it's good to have, even if you're a herbivore, just for these daily weekly challenges because it will produce uh, passively this cooked meat while you play the game. It just saves so much time. It's a huge time saver. It looks great. Okay. Highly recommend it if it goes for sale. Doesn't matter if you're herbivore or carnivore. Highly recommend this guy. Okay, 
So as the daily says, let's eat. Let's see what it says here. Eat a meat-based meal. Okay, so it's got to be cooked. Go to our pet boy here and see what we've got. All right, so we got this roasted Mylark meat we got out of the Mylark steamer. See that? See how it just saves so much time, that Mylark steamer. Highly recommend it. Cooked sauce shell meat, same deal. Uh, Mylark jerky. Smoked Mylark filet. Stuff. Uh, grilled rad steak that we cooked ourselves. Death claw steak we cooked ourselves. And I thought there was something else that we cooked too. Maybe I was wrong. Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to eat this stuff up. Alright, good stuff. You get, generally get the basic idea. I was uh, unsuccessful getting enough uh, food. I thought I uh, did for some reason. Let's check here. Oh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, ribeye steak right there. I kind of thought I did. Okay, where did the ribeye steak go, Jim? There we go. Eat a meat-based meal, 25, 25. And one thing good about ribeye steak, okay, uh, from the Brahmin meat and from the red steak meat, is it'll, if you're a carnivore, okay, it'll increase your carry weight. Let's take a look at that stat here real quick. You'll see there, uh, ribeye steak, 29 minutes, restore 4 HP. Second carry weight, plus 40. Okay. Roasted Mylurk meat, max AP, plus 20. Smoked Mylurk filet, breathe underwater. Well, I don't really need that. Deathclaw steak, strength, plus 4. So, if you're carnivore, it works even it works better for you in your favor. But even if you're a herbivore, we're just doing daily weekly challenges, and it will count. Okay. Well, there you guys go. Just give you guys some good examples there. What's next here, Jim? What is next here, old pal? Alright, scrap pre-war money 50. So I made a video, I would say, maybe three months ago. It's uh, probably about an hour long, close to it. And we were very successful in locating pre-war money, uh, pre-war money farming locations Okay, in that video. Uh, basically, if you come across corpse, they'll have pre-war money on them. Uh, a lot of the human enemies going to Atlantic City will have pre-war money on them. Cash registers have pre-war money. When you open up safes in the game, uh, every safe will have some sort of pre-war money in it as well. Uh, but one of the best spots for pre-war money is uh, right here in Morgantown Airport. Collision course. So we're going to try to spawn this one in here again today. I think we had this one here last week or the week before. I can't remember. We're going to try it again here today. Now, there are going to be some scorched around here while we make our way through. Hopefully we can spawn it in here. Now the corpses I was talking about, there's some corpses uh, right here on this little dance stage at the uh, Morgantown Airport, see these corpses. They'll have some of them, sometimes they'll have, they'll have pre war money on them. Most of the time they will. I may have picked them. Oh, there we go. There's five of them on that guy. Another corpse up here. It's a pretty good spot. Let's grab that stim pack there. Thanks. I never have too many of those. He's got pre war money on there. There we go. You could check out that video that I made three months ago. It's still valid today. We were very, very successful in that video. I'm just kind of going to go blow through here. We got all kinds of ammo. And we're just here for the uh, collision course, which is right down here in the quarantine zone. Hopefully we'll be able to spawn it in here. Now we'll have to go another route. Perfect. So we spawn a collision course in ourselves, which is an event that we can spawn in. Pretty cool, eh? 
Right, I don't even bother with the Scorch Beast, it's going to fly ahead, they're passive anyway. We're just going to take care of these five waves of uh, Scorched. A bunch of headshots here. It's two shot lever action. How are we doing that for that lever action anyway? Oh, we're doing good. In terms of condition, health-wise. <laughs> so that is the two shots, so that number times two. One of those scorch must have shot at the uh, scorch beast there, but it's usually passive, but it's going to fly off in the distance here anyway, so we're not going to bother with it. That's probably that cat up there. This guy here is hiding on me. My bud trying to do a video here, man. Oh, he's way over there. Holy. What are you doing way over there, bud? Beaver action got him. They got him the fourth wave here. Now, if you're by yourself, there's usually about three or four scorch, which is uh, pretty manageable. Now at the end of this, the main thing you gotta remember is you have to wait till the end until that uh, cargo drop uh, drops to the ground in order to complete the event, but inside that cargo drop will be our pre-war money. Alright, we're on the last wave here. Oh, we have a legendary up there. Burp. There you go, done. Attention responders. Cargo bot Wait for is our now cargo drop to come. Approach. Eyes to the sky, people. Got some ammo here. <clears throat> Don't need any more. Oh, beepers. Hey, dude, where'd you come from? I get rid of all you guys. All right. Legendary over here, see what he's got on him. Poking. Yeah, that's alright. As you can see, lots of weapons. Lots of armor from these guys. Collect that all. Go over there to the train station. You don't need to, you know, waste a carry weight booster. Collect all that stuff. Go over there, sell that stuff off to get some caps. <laughs> Let's take it right away here. Here's our cargo drop. And as you can see here, 101 pre-war money, baby. Just like that. Now, I do want to make a mention. If you are on a public server, okay, and you come here, you don't have to take part in the event collision course, but let's say you spawn in in the middle of the day, come here to Morgantown Airport, and you see one of these guys here. Sometimes you'll see two or three. Okay? Uh, you had nothing to do with the event, but you can walk up to these, and it'll have stuff in it. And it'll have that pre-war money. And I would say it's definitely, hands down, the best <laughs> amount of pre-war money you can get. So now we're going to take this pre-war money down here. To the uh, bot shop. We're going to scrap it. Scrap that pre-war money. Scrap pre-war money, 50 for 50, done. Great spot. And this is one of the... This is one of the ways I showed you in that pre-war money location farming uh, video that I made. Okay, this is one of the things that we did. What's next here? Get to them pretty good. We get two more left. We have uh, destroy a robot or kill a mole miner, 30. Let's go ahead, kill a mole miner, 30. 
Uh, we are probably going to have to go through a couple different spots. We're going to start up here in Monadga. It'll be good for at least 12 of them up here, hopefully. And this is why <laughs> this is why I went to a uh, private server. Because if we were on a public one, we'd be uh, up against all the other players on that server looking for the exact same thing. So here in good old Monadga, uh, be full of mole miners here. We're usually about 10 to 12 of them. And we're just going to take care of the minial which way we like. Now, mole miners are also considered creatures, so if you have the uh, daily challenge, you know, kill a creature, mole miners definitely fit that bill. So you can do a couple of dailies, a couple of weeklies at the same time, okay? FYI. Takes me a little bit long to do the daily ch daily weekly challenges because I try to do some explaining as much as I can for newer folks to the game. Oh, we got a higher priest here. Take care of him. He only shows up during the Mothman Equinox event. Oh, there's our buddy down there. I wonder where he was at. You come across these high priests and you kill them. Make sure you pick up the high priest pack. Alright. Let's open him up. I got a couple outfits there. I mean, you haven't had much luck getting uh, plans from those. But we have been doing pretty good plan-wise and completing the event. Off me an equinox. Some splash effect going on there from the explosion. Nice. I'm just gonna add up here. Nice little spot there, eh, guys? Yeah, let's hit up the road here. Oh! Where did you come from there, Dragger? He's hiding on me. Let's hit up the road here. Lock and load here, Jim. I'm gonna get one in the chamber there. One in the chamber and four in the tube. tracks there. Uh, Holy mackerel! That's, uh... Holy, wow. <laughs> oh my lord, this is unbelievable. Oh. These guys mean business today. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I took care of them, guys. I took care of them. <laughs> no sweat. I think I had like unlimited supply of missiles for some reason. Wasn't there like a whole whack of them here a second ago? Or was it just me? Oh, there's right there. Oh, that is unreal. I've never... Oh, I've never been, uh... I've never been attacked like this here before. So dramatic, eh, these mole miners? I think they own the place. I was just ready to say the old 45 ammo there, you know. Blood force trauma. <laughs> oh, a couple guys with missiles on them. That's probably what the issue was. These two probably came from up here from down there. Say, hey, we're gonna get on this action. More cats over here. Back to hidden, which is good. Three thirty-five per uh, stretch. There, that's all right. Got him. Drop them like a bag of dirt. Another missile. Jeez. So we did pretty good there. Did pretty decent. Let's see how many we got. Eight 
18. 18 to 30. That's all right. That is all right. All right, let's go down here to Welsh, and hopefully we can finish this off. Go down here to Welsh Station. I think I'm spawning at Welsh Station. Is where we're kind of up on the hill. If you spawn in at Welsh itself, you actually spawn at the bottom of the hill there. You get a big rock face, you get to climb up. All right, let's go here, Jim. Let's go here. Again, probably one of the best spots. This is probably the more popular spot for folks. If I can get this guy here. And we have uh, something following us. <laughs> we have our cargo drop following us. Hey, listen, you didn't take everything out of the cargo drop, so we're going to keep uh, dropping it off to you. How's that? Buddy with his uh, missile launch. Jeez, he's uh, quite a reach on him there. Quite a reach. Again, just like Morgantown, you can come here, take care of these mole miners, get all the weapons, get all the armor off them. Let's bring it up to the uh, train station up here in self caps. Okay, just kind of adding that one in. Same thing, same exact thing we did in Morgantown. And you don't need to, you don't waste a carry rate booster because we have a train station literally right there. I have enough ammo here, I'm not going to bother. Need to go through there and get this stuff done. I don't. My butt. But. Need one more. And there he is. No oh, more 30 for 30. Two great spots, guys. Two great spots. Look at that. Rank 49. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Two weeks in the game in this uh, season 16 season pass system. Pretty awesome. Oh, look at that over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Good old Welsh. And uh, good old up here. Mananga. Let's see what's next here. One more left. Destroy Robot 30. Many great spots for robots. Many great videos that I have. Uh, some of them are older videos. Uh, one of the older videos I have is no longer valid. Uh, right up here, Vault 76. Just to the west, we have those that upper lower parking lot. Used to be about 10 Liberators there. No longer. No longer. It's for the ghouls there now. So, you disregard that video. Once upon a time, it was very popular. Uh, but seeing how we're down here in the ash heap, uh, let's pop over here to uh, good old Beckley. We're going to take care of some robots here. Just seeing how we're down here. Uh, Clarksburg, up at the very north. Another great spot. We might be going up there after we're done here. Uh, right up here, Clarksburg. Great spot for robots as well. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, we have a uh, high priest around. These guys are glowing red. We're not gonna bother. See him moving around like that, around like that? That's odd, eh? Yeah, whatever, buddy. Whatever. Talk to the hand there. Uh, now, sometimes up here. Oh, we got a guy up here too. Sometimes up here at the uh, mine. Exhibit. There'll be some Robo Brains. If we can see a Robo Brain up there, he just took care of him for us. And that's going to count because we got a shot off on him, so that's good. Let's see. This is probably one of the best spots for Robo Brains that I know that naturally spawn. Uh, it's not 100%, though. I would say it's more like 75%. Get in the combat inhibitor, this tactician. I remember the first time when I was a very low level player and I came here and tried to take care of these Robo Brains. I'm telling you, man, I got murdered I don't know how many times by these guys. 
we're just here for the robots. Combat inhibitor. Uh, another good spot is right there in the good old forest. Right up here at the Baltic Agricultural Research Center. Sometimes if you're lucky enough, fertile soil will pop in for you. That is a great spot for robots as well. Great spot. Low level, everything you need, especially if you're a low level character. Probably one of the first events you do. As a uh, new player to the game, fertile soil. Great spot for robots. Oh, there's our high priest there. Toss some blood force trauma to that guy. And these rad roach here coming up from behind, flanking us. Why is he shooting me? I can't shoot him. What's going on there? Oh, how are you doing there, bud? Do I look? Do you look like what? Do you look like what? Scrap? Scrap now? You look like scrap? <laughs> Where's that high priest at? He's inside the bus. Oh, it's Feral Ghoul up there. He's he's ready to fall off the edge. Don't forget, again, don't forget your high priest pack. Hunter's bow. Let's pick that up and see what we got there. Let's open that up. Two star hunter bow, okay. Damage to animals, that's alright. Not for me, but. Alright, let's head outside. We're gonna head around the other building here. We're gonna go this way, because I like going this way better for myself. There'll be at least a couple more down here. Hopefully, uh, a couple I bots. Perfect. Gee, he flew right over there real quick. See that? And there might be one more. Use that term loosely, because all depends on the server that you're on. Oh, right there. Perfect. Uh, another good uh, source of robots, in case you didn't know, are turrets. Okay. Turrets also count as robots. Uh, sometimes you can come across those three vertebrates, right? Uh, that are guarding the little one that's uh, carrying the cargo supply. Uh, they also count as robots as well. Um, let's uh, go check that out, actually, just so I can show you. Let's go over here to Beckley. Oh, sorry. Berkeley Springs, that's what it's called, Jim. We'll go up here to Bloody Franks. We'll fast travel up here. Uh, just because there's a turret there, and I just want to kind of show you in the video, seeing how we have to, you know, destroy 30 of them. Might as well just kind of show this. We're not here to do the drop connection, we're just here to show you this. So there's this turret up here. Alright, see that how that counts? Turrets? Okay. Let's go to Vet Baltic Agricultural Research Center. I'll do this one here. Now again, if you're lucky enough, I will spawn in fertile soil and make them all enemies. Make it a little bit of like that perfect. Maybe you can complete the event if you so wish. But we come here more so for the robots. And there's all kinds of them around. Let's get her sneak on here. Again. As I said, this is probably one of the first events you do in the game. Initialize scanning protocol. It's on the other side of the building. These guys just, you know, just one shot them for myself. I'm a little higher level area uh, person, but uh, even if you're like a low level, really good way to get robots. <laughs> All kinds of them here. Who's turning to ash? Who's turning to ash? You are? Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought you said. He ended up some results. This guy's hiding. All 
right? Just see all kinds of them here. On the roof, everywhere. Let's go here. Automated message. The forest watch detects all supervisors down. Good job. Huh. Responded I didn't kill them all. The That's weird. I know, I didn't kill them. That's weird. Reset the farmhand targeting parameters. That should keep our people safe in the area. Be careful. What is going on? Why are they all dead? Anyway. Let's uh, go inside here. Oh, it's probably all those other enemies. Maybe they were fighting them. Yeah, let's go inside here. There'll be some more robots on the inside. We're just going to clear this building. And normally doing this event, we would just kind of pop in from the top and go down the stairs, but... How you doing? Alert! Possible source of compostables detected. Yeah. Potential source found. Yeah. Near this area. A couple out here. Oh, I don't. scanning protocol locating material Get him in the old thruster Oh, he came from, from the other side of the wall there, seemed like. I think he did. Oh, good scrap there. Hey, listen here, bud. Everybody just relax. Just relax. Maybe we need two more. Continuing composting operations. Oh, there. Hi. There we go. Destroy a robot 30 for 30. Two great spots. This one here is probably by far the easiest. Um, now, if you are a low level player, you come here. Okay, you obviously can't get 30, but you can server hop. So you close out your game, open it back up again in a different server, and take care of them. All right, so that way there, you're just dealing with low level robots. Uh, a bunch of liberators down here, Charleston Station. And uh, a bunch of liberators down here. They're fairly easy as well. Let's head outside here. A little dark, a little dingy. Maybe one more robot out here we gotta take care of, but that's fine. I don't. I'm not gonna bother with that event. All right. Just like that, guys. Others are a little thing there following us. <laughs> I think we're done. Yeah, we they're that done. Now again, leave the event Mothman Equinox three times. Uh, fairly easy. I think last week was uh, five times, but uh, they changed the weekly to uh, three times for some reason. But there you guys go. Just like that. 54 minutes or so. Maybe less than that. You guys can do it a lot quicker than me because I'm doing a lot of talking and a lot of explaining. But uh, if I could do it, anyone can. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwood138, Robco. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.